I'm going to redesign my hold down system. This method that has been on here for a while works okay. It's not great. It kind of gets in the way a little bit. I'm going to put the light in a different spot as well. But these are going to come out. And we're going to use some flanged insets here in a piece of plywood. So we can easily put these down, tighten up a hold down, and go from there. And this is with all of that stuff removed. Opens up the cutting space a little bit more. Not necessarily the cutting envelope, because I made sure to keep that open with all the side stuff on. But it does give more space to move things around on the table. Next step is to put that piece of plywood down with the flanged insets. There's our 36 inch by 20 inch inset board. 3 quarter inch plywood. That's that sheet just sat inside here. I need to drill the holes for those inset, those flanged insets. I was a little concerned with whether this would even fit in the enclosure. The enclosure was built around the CNC and quite honestly I can't get the CNC out of this enclosure. <laughs> so if I ever need to take the whole thing out I'm gonna have to take apart some of the the framing for this big box. But I was able to get this inset plywood board in with the machine all the way over on the left. See my layout for these flange insets. I do have a CNC machine here. I could have designed the router to cut these holes, but sometimes it's just quicker to grab a drill, line it up, draw some lines, and do it. And in this case, a 3 8 inch bit works fine for these 5 16 flanged insets. That's with the flanged insets put inside. Next is to screw that plywood board down to the CNC deck. And we're pretty close might be just a tick off but this is all wood and this is all kind of estimated so that's close enough for me that's on that angle and that's on that angle so pretty tight Kind of shows the hold down. Seems to be pretty useful, pretty flexible. Um, I want to move on to some lithopanes with some Corian soon. I've got some ideas for testing that. But as far as the way this stuff clamps down, seems pretty good. I made up some more hold downs for heavier stuff. Over here, just goes through and tags down. If it's some bigger pieces I can put a couple extra blocks on the side to give it a little bit of extra resistance. But this is really solid. It's not going anywhere. And everything will clear and it's super easy. Just hand tightened. And as far as protecting this I've got a little quarter inch piece of, of ply under there. And either that or some foam or something else would protect the uh, the board. Just another option. Thanks for taking a look.